And then if we move to the back, this is where right now we're putting together um, some personal protective equipment for police, fire, for the 39 municipalities and the state entities. So the mission of the warehouse is to really um, provide PPE for the state of Rhode Island along with other medical equipment. So that's one of the roles that we're doing here in the warehouse is really tracking the management and the inventory of that equipment. I've never worked with FEMA before um, or REMA for that matter, but it has been really great actually um, seeing these, two, these different agencies come together and work as a team for uh, the common goal here. Yeah, so this is uh, the area right now where we're picking and pulling for the 39 municipalities and the state agencies uh, that need the personal protective equipment, uh, whether it's gloves, masks, uh, KN95, surgical, whatever we can get in as fast as we get it in. We try to get it out the door to the people that need it the most. Um, we also, as we're taking in um, inventory and shipments, we're also pushing them out to the Department of Health too to uh, feed the um, public health entities that are in dire need of this kind of equipment. Typically when we go on a mission, it is mostly with just FEMA people, although several of them we will work with National Guard as they are doing uh, logistical fleet kind of things, um, whether it's planes receiving equipment or not. Uh, but this one has been very, very interesting to have it being led by the Rhode Island EMA. Uh, we've enjoyed getting to know the clinical people, the leadership people, the IT, um, and then of course to get to know the National Guard people from majors to colonels to airmen. It's been really awesome. Uh, so right now it's a collaborative mission between Rhode Island Emergency Management Agency, other state agencies, uh, the Rhode Island National Guard, and FEMA, um, and really at, at this facility here, we're just trying to take in as much uh, personal protective equipment as we possibly can, get it out the door as fast as possible to the people that really need it, the uh, first line workers like uh, hospital, police, fire, um, you know, emergency management, uh, long-term care facilities. What we are doing here is very crucial. Like, I get to see, you know, firsthand when the supplies come in and everything, and trying to imagine that these are all going out to different communities, even just in Rhode Island, is just, it's insane, honestly. They're experienced, especially FEMA and the REMA people are really experienced in what they do here, and being able to work under, you know, Major Garlic, people who are higher up than me, treat me like we're all just in here together, doesn't matter your rank, doesn't matter where you're from, we all are just here trying to complete this mission. I'm born and raised in Rhode Island, so you know I have a lot of family here, and I just want to make sure that I, I give the same level of uh, support to my fellow Rhode Islanders as I would to anyone in my family. So.